And these are all signs of uh, APC panicking, the campaign unraveling. You remember it started with uh, three of their officials, Kiamo, uh, Fanikaide, yes. and Dele Alake, yes. had a press conference saying we will take uh, INEC to court, they should disqualify. It didn't catch traction. What did they do next? Next was for Balame to do himself to go on the Hustings campaign and keep saying this fuel scarcity and this narrow redesigned policy is meant to sabotage my chances at the polls. He said it. What did he do the next day? The next day he ran to Daura in company of three governors. Zulum of Borno, Masari of, of, of Katsina and Badaru to go and sort things out. Or well, he didn't mean to attack. He came back now on the campaign trail he is full blown attacking the president, the person of the president and his government. Say so he has failed. He got F eleven. And they have they have mismanaged the Economy, the dollar from 200 to 8 is orchestrated. Then all of a sudden, a few days ago, we had the, the, the vice presidential candidate, Kashim Shetima, was in Daura, the AMS pilot, and was saying northerners are not supporting him because he's Kanuri. I don't know if you have that. Yes, he's Kanuri. I mean, this is the dumbest thing I've heard. He's not done his homework. If he had done his homework, he would have known that the mother of President Muhammad Buhari was Kanuri. That President Umar Eradua, his ancestry was Kanuri. They came from Kukawa, the, the, the original seat of Kanuri. So you are in Kazuna talking about Kanuri, they are losing it. And then all of a sudden they sent their attack dog from the north, Nasr al-Rufai. He appeared in f on five platforms, eyes popping, mouth foaming, and neck veins popping. Day in he would, they are pissing everybody off. Pissing the cabal, whoever they are, pissing northerners, saying we've not kept our promise of rotating power to the south. Which promise? Who consulted us? It was this uh, APC governors that said, okay, we will shift power to the north. You go and do that because you have the money you paid against during the primaries. After the primaries, your deed is done. And you had control only on APC. Oh, the north has not kept its promise. He said that. And there are no elders in the north. And that statement alone has demarketed Ashwaju in the north. We have elders. You saw some of the elders. You saw General Yakubu go on. General Yakubu go on at half our age. I and, I and uh, Nasr Yarufaya were contemporary. At half our age, he was saddled with the leadership of this country. At 30 something, he saw this country through the most difficult time of, of this country. And we have General IBB, we have T.Y. Danjuma, we have uh, I.B. Maruna, we have Jerry Husseini, we have uh, everywhere, Abdullahi Mohammed, we have all these generals that in their 20s, they put on this uniform of this country and fought to stitch this country back. Many of them lost comrades on the battlefield. Many of them came with injuries. They are not elders. We have 98-year-old Tankoyaka say, mm. still alive. We have Professor Omar Shehu, 93. We have Elijah Aminu Dantata, 93. We have, let him go and look at his certificate of BSc quantity survey in 1980, that was 43 years ago. Who signed it? It was signed by Professor Angwa Abdullahi. He's still alive, so he's not an elder. He's saying there are no, no elders in the north, so where do you have elders? In the south? In the south? 
So, we don't have elders. You see, they are the elders, the elected governors. So, one of the elected governors still has his father and is one of the elders. The governor of Niger State, Kanosani Bello, is an elder. He's our elder, our respected elder. And we have clerics. We have clerics. Sheikh Dagobochi is 90 something. Reverend Onikon is 80 something. We have, we have them all over. And our emirs, from the Sultan of Sokoto to the Etsunupe to the to the Shehu of Borno to the Lamid of Adama, they are respected elders. Nasser Erufa is saying we don't have elders. They are the elders. He needs to know that the position of elders is not an elective position. You don't buy it. You earn it. Elders do not go around with, with, with armed people. They live with their people. When they retire, they go back home. They attend local mosques or churches. They attend wedding ceremonies. They attend funerals. They attend births locally with the people, not these governors. So they are not elders. We have elders. Prof. And we are, the North is angry. The North is angry? Angry, very angry at that statement. And it has demarketed Ashwajubala, 